Hi there, Michael here from Saxo. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the screener. So let's say you've set up a watch list or you've just started using the platform and there's so many stocks available, so many things to look at, I don't even know where to start. So the screener is a really good tool for that purpose and what you're going to use it for is to set some parameters that you're interested in and that you want to use to filter through all the stocks that are available in markets and get it, whittle it down to a smaller list that you can then keep an eye on and add to watch lists. So first thing I'm going to do here is actually move across uh, the windows just so I've got more space for that screener and I can really highlight it for the video and something that you can do on your side as well if you'd like. Uh, first, we're gonna look at the sorted by. So this is literally just showing us um, how the stocks are going to be ordered. So right now they're ordered by market cap uh, and it's actually set to the ASX just for your reference, um, which is one of the features of the screener. But here you can set it by popularity, dividend yield, price earnings, sales growth, and a number of others. Uh, and you can also switch the other side. So if we're looking at much lower market caps, that's how you do so. Um, but for now we'll start with that larger market cap. So in here, as you can see, I've already got the exchange set to the ASX, obviously a very popular exchange in Australia. But you're also gonna have things like the NASDAQ uh, as well as the New York Stock Exchange and a number of other exchanges. Saxo has a really global offering of stocks so um, realistically you can take a look at a, different, a lot of different markets at what's available uh, and you can also set it to all to get absolutely everything in there at once. Uh, moving on we've got sectors in here you've got much more broad categories so you're looking at your technology your energy your finance uh, and then moving down to industries you've got much more specific so you can see here accessories retail uh, moving down computer systems computer peripherals it's when you've got your sector idea um, or you just want to look through industries what's available and find out companies in something that you're actually interested in and see what's there. Um, you can then set analyst consensus that would be buy, hold, sell uh, and also market cap is in here too. So if you wanted to leave out smaller market cap companies for your parameter or even take out some of the big ones that's how you do it. Fundamentals is just for dividend yield and for price earnings. So if you want to see companies with lower price earnings, you could change that in here. And finally, technical is based on return. So um, if you're not interested in a company that's had a super negative annual return, uh, there's not going to be too many this year. So let's just move that down there. Um, and you can see there's a few companies that um, haven't gone down more than 20% year to date. Uh, once you've created this watch list, you can actually save it as well. So I could press uh, save and that would actually allow me to give this watch list, uh, sorry, the screener a name we'll just call it screener one i'll retype that screener one save that and now in the future it'll be available to load up when i want to view it thanks for watching and that's how you use screeners on saxo trader go